And we're back. Now it's time for the starting lineups. First starting for the Trailblazers from South Bend Career Academy. It's number one, Eddie Godsey. Number two, Haley Saunders. Number 11, Gabby Terrell. Number 20, Angel Morrow. And then number 22, Kayla Howell. And now for the hosting Lady Dragons. Their first five is gonna be, first it's number 12, Sydney Shepard. Next is gonna be number 20, Emma Dunlap. At the three spot, it's gonna be number 22, Maddie Vanderweel. Number 34, Sophie Bullenbacher. And then last, but definitely not least, she's been playing very well. Manning the middle is number 40, Lizzie Edmonds. As we get set soon for tip off. A little bit of a smaller crowd than we're used to with the smaller crowds anyway. But tonight it just seems like a little less on both sides of the floor. Do you think that'll have an impact on the game at all? Or? Of course. Yeah, I, I'm just wondering what your thoughts are. An offensive tip for the Dragons to start. And now it's Dunlap on the wing. Inside of the middle, Edmonds. To Bullenbacher on the baseline, steps through, no good. Vanderweel puts back up off the offensive glass and it's in. Dragons early pressure. Career Academy gets it through, not quite, but they get it back. Opposite side shot, that one's good off the window. And so both scores off of the first possession. It's two to two. In the middle, it's Edmonds. The hook, no good. Gonna slow things down a bit now. That one's tipped out by Dunlap. One swinging across court. Dunlap looked like it could have been a reach, but it was never called. There's a trap in the corner, and it looks like there's a foul. That's going to be on Shepard, her first. Dunlap got a piece of it, but couldn't come out with it. Here's a shot. That one's no good. Inside, blocked by Edmonds. She goes the other way. Fast break, it's a one on three. Never mind. Bullenbacher, it's up and good off the glass. Good pressure, steal by Edmonds. Finds Dunlap. That one is good. Six to two, Dragons. Tipped again by Edmonds. Just like we saw against the academy. Offense coming Culver out. Culver Academy. That's right. Argus girls come out swinging, swinging fast. Steal by Dunlap. Steal. Good backcourt pressure here. Dragons just pouring it on now defensively. That one stolen again by Dunlap. Dragon, Dragons looking like they can't do wrong right now. Four turnovers so far that they forced. And now here's Dunlap. Things are gonna get slowed down a little bit. Edmonds looks for the shot, it's not there. Dunlap, baseline drive, that one's good. A quick 10 to two lead. That one and stolen by Edmonds turnover. again. That one's put up, no good. And there's a early timeout taken by the Trailblazers. It's gonna be 32nd. 
Looks like South Bend Career Academy already having quick trouble with ball control, just trying to keep it in their own possession. It doesn't help, though, with Edmonds' long reach. Like, honestly, it makes blocking and stealing a little easier when your arms are long. Yeah, it looks like she's the tallest one out there. Was it six foot? Almost. Nope, nope, six foot even. Yeah, she, was, she was definitely a force against the uh, Culver girls. Her and Bowen just constantly back at, like, just constantly into each other the whole game. Yep. Should be, she should be a force here tonight, too. So the Dragons are going to back up the pressure, and they're just going to get set up in what looks like a 2 3 zone. That one stolen by Shepard. Another steal. Shepard takes it up, puts it in. Dragons now up by 10. She gets her first points of the night. Trailblazers just looking to get a shot up without turning it over. Almost again. Here's one. It looks like it was tipped. Yeah, it looked yeah, it was. tipped by Dunlap. Now the Trailblazers are have it under their basket. Looks baseline. It's not there. Another steal by Shepard. So we and got a foul by the career academy. And that's going to be a foul on Addie Godsey. That is their first of the half. Also her first. Here come the Dragons up by 10. Early lead. Only three minutes through. Bullenbacher, that one's blocked. Blocked by Morrow. Nice block. And incoming now, it's Ariana Huggins coming in for Kayla Howell. Relatively young um, South Bend Academy team here. Uh, it looks like there's four sophomores, only one senior, one junior, and a freshman. Ball screen. There's a kick ball. Would have been a fast break opportunity, but it was kicked. In the middle, here's a shot. That one gets nothing but glass, and Edmonds will take it the other way. Looks like the Academy's in a 2-3 zone as well. Here's Shepard off the dribble. That's no good. Just it's going to stay with the Dragons. Just a bit outside. Uh, just a little bit. This one inbounded to Edmonds. Bumped around a little bit inside. Good fake by Vanderweel. Floater. That one's good for two. Dragons extend their lead to 12 now. It's 14 to two. It's four on the night for her. Starting off really well. Pull up jumper. That one's no good. And here comes Vanderweel. Here's Dunlap. She looks for a shot. She wanted the three. She did. And there's going to be a reach in there on Ariana Huggins. That's going to be her first. This one inbounded to Shepard. Swinging it across. Here's Dunlap. Outside Vanderweel for three. That one's no good off Short. front iron. Penetration outside shot fake. Here's Edmonds inside. Puts it up. That one's good. 16 to 2. Dragons off to a fast start. And Edmonds gets on the score sheet. This one to the corner. Tries to drive baseline. Gets Keeps it in. Marker. And there's going to be 
a foul on what looks like Edmonds. Yep, Edmonds on the push. It's her first, team second. And a big substitution for the Dragons now as Miller, Stoltz, and Redinger check in. Here's, it's up, and one. That one's Kayla Howell, she got to go off the foul. So now the Trailblazers picking away at the lead, trying to. And now here's the first free throw of the night. That one bounced off the back iron and in. So they cut into the lead a little bit. It's only 11 now. Redinger looks inside, nothing there. Top of the key, Vanderweel. She'll take it across. Here's Shepard. Inside Stoltz. That one's up. That one's good. That's her first basket of the night. I knew that without even looking at that. See? And another turnover. And our ball retriever, Gordon Mawson. <laughs> Doing a fine job down there. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> that one's a three. That one's no good by Shepard. Here's Redinger. She looked for the shot. It wasn't there. Here's Miller. Penetration in the pop-up jumper. That one's good. Nothing but net. She's on the score sheet as well. Her first didn't even look again. That one's a three. Nothing but glass on that one. Now Shepard will take it the other way. Shepard drives inside. Looks like it bobbled there between the two. Swinging it. Inside here, Stoltz. Moving the Kicks ball Kicks out well. to Shepard for three. That one's no good. And that's rebound Godsey. Pushing it up is Saunders. She doesn't get that one to go, but there's a foul. It looks like it's going to be on Sydney Shepard. It's her second. Team's fourth. First shot's no good. Saunders' check, second shot, that one's no good either. And now here comes Vanderweel down the right sideline. That one's poked away. But it's going to be Dragon's possession. Godsey with her second foul of the night. Ellis is going to check in for Sydney Shepard. <laughs> and then a substitution for the Trailblazers as well. It's going to be Rocio Alvarez in for Addie Godsey. Ellis on the in the corner to the top of the key. Here's Vanderweel looking around. Back to Ellis. Feeds inside to Stoltz. Top of the key, Vanderweel. Shot fake drive. Floater. It's good. Dragons continue to extend this lead. It's now 17 as they lead 22 to 5 with a minute 5 left in the first. That one in, in and, and out. out. Redinger takes it inside. Here's Stoltz. That one's turned over. A little bit of a miscommunication there. And Saunders, she'll lay it up and in. Here's Vanderweel into the middle of Stoltz. To the corner. Here's Miller. That one's a two. Got nothing on that one. And now with 30 seconds left, This one's Howell now at the top of the key to Saunders. That one's no good. Looks like it might have been tabled. That one's no good either. Alvarez inside. No good. 
Vanderbilt looks and at the clock. six left. Vanderbilt's got to get down the floor. She does. Floater, no good. And Howell the rebound. She'll chuck it. Didn't get it there. And after one, we have a score 22 to five. Dragons all over this one early. Or er, seven, sorry. They just now changed it. So ball control looking like it's an issue right now for their South Bend Career Academy Trailblazers as they have, how many turnovers do they have right now? So far seven. Seven turnovers in just the first quarter. They're gonna look to try to reduce that number every every quarter they go by now. Or, well, everyone wants to have no turnovers throughout the game. Right. But having seven and a quarter as a team, that's just, that's that's not very good. It's a killer. Yeah. That one's stolen by Stoltz, another turnover. Stoltz, that one going to be called jump a ball. jump ball. It's going to stay with the Dragons, though, under their basket. Good defense by Terrell down there. He's going to give it to Ellis. And it's like another jump ball. Howell rips it through, but there's a jump ball. And now the Trailblazers are going to have it. And now here comes Terrell. Terrell. And looked like she moved her pivot foot, but nothing was said. And that one almost stolen by Staltz. Inside Saunders, blocked by Edmonds, tipped away. She still can have it though, as she takes it down the floor. Here's Redinger. Inside Edmonds, dribbling a shot, no good, it was short. Now here comes Howell. Alvarez back into Howell, that one's blocked again by Edmonds. And now here comes Miller. She'll look inside. Staltz stripped. Stripped by Alvarez. She took it right out of her hands. Yeah. Waving to our one of our favorite assistant coaches. Our sponsor, Drew Mawson. Well, he doesn't sponsor us, but we're hoping one day he does. That one's good from Redinger. That's for three. Gets on the score sheet. First points of the night for Redinger. Here's Howell, she'll try to answer. That one's off the glass, but no good. Here comes Edmonds, up to Miller. Couldn't come up with it, and that one goes out of bounds. Just a little too much on that pass. Substitution now, Angel Morrow's gonna come back in. And she's checked in for Haley Saunders. Now here's Howell. That one's stolen by Redinger. She has a fast break. No one in front of her. And she'll lay that one up nice and easy. Dragons extended their lead to 20 now. 5.39 left in the second. Here's Career. Alvarez. Career Academy's moving the ball, trying to get something going. Just can't find, that one's blocked. Just can't find an open shot. 
Miller to Ellis inside. Looks like she forced that one, but it's going to go in White's in Argus's favor. And now Miller to inbound. This one's into Ellis. She'll have a jump shot. No good. And here comes Howell the other way. Spins, no good. It's blocked by Edmonds again. Not keeping track of blocks, but that I, I wanna say that's her fourth. That's There's been quite a bit of them. And it's not just been her either. So now here comes Miller. Dragon's still looking to extend this lead. Inside her stall. And it looks like there's a push from behind on Huggins. Doesn't look like she agrees with that one. It's her second. This one's into Redinger. She looks for shot, gives it back to Miller. Baseline, that one's good for two. Here's Howell. Corner Alvarez. That one's tipped. Edmonds on the floor for it. Like we got another jump ball. And another jump ball. And it'll go to the and South Bend Career Academy. Nope. It's going to the Dragons. Going to the Dragons. Sorry. Man. You get their, a, their bench is that way. You get a hit on the shoulder for that one. Now here's Miller, top of the key. Sw passes it to Ellis. She'll reverse it to Miller. Inside Staltz, drop step, puts it up off the glass, but no good. Edmonds comes away with it. Looking for a foul there. Could, didn't get called, though. It looks like that one went out on Howell's foot. And another big substitution here for the Dragons as Bullenbacher, Dunlap, Fajardo, and Kaylee Markley are coming in for the Dragons. And they're going to leave in Edmonds. This one to Dunlap, she looks for a shot and turns it over. Here comes Godzi. That one's no good. Rebound Bullenbacher. Swings it to Markley. Shot fake. It's like the Career Academy staying in that 2-3 zone. Inside for Hardo, out to Bullenbacher. That one's no good for mid-range. Stolen by the Dragons again. Here's Dunlap, Markley now. And now here's Dunlap inside Fajardo. And the Dragons just moving the ball around now, not really looking to score at the moment. This one is a jump ball. Howell did a good job to get there. And substitution for yeah. the Trailblazers is Angel Morrow and, and Haley Saunders will check back into the game. And this one will go to the South Bend Career Academy. There you go. Here's Howell, spot up jumper, no good. Here's Bullenbacher, she'll take it herself. Here's Markley, that one's a two, her foot was on the line. Saved by Fajardo. Good save by Fajardo. And there's gonna be a foul on Bullenbacher on the push. It's her first, team's fifth. Cuts to the corner here, Saunders. Baseline drive, falls. And don't know if the ball or foot hit the line, but it was out of bounds. So the Dragons will have it going the other way. So now here's Dunlap. The Dragons with a 22 point lead. Fajardo puts it up, but that one's blocked.
inside. That one's tipped by Howell again. Dragons will have it again on that baseline. Howell standing her ground down there yeah. under the basket. Here's Dunlap. Bullenbacher baseline drive. This one stolen by Howell, but Fajardo gets on the floor for it. And we're going to have a jump ball. Dragons will keep it. Once again, that disruption by Howell down there. Showing some real resistance inside. That one tipped. Stolen by the Trailblazers and then kind of stolen back again. And there's a jump ball. The Trailblazers will have this one, though. I feel like that's the 16th jump ball of the game. There has been a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Here's Howell, the no-look pass. Kind of got away from her. Here's Godsey. She'll look for a shot. No, good, Nothing there. And here comes Dunlap on a fast break. And there's a foul inside. That one's going to be on Gabby Terrell. And so Dunlap goes with a stripe for two. First one's up, and it's back iron and out. And Maddie Vanderweel is going to check in for Lizzie Edmonds. Argus is shooting his first two free throws of the night. Is it the first two? Okay. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't know if there was some before it. That one's tipped out by Fajardo. So here comes Howell the other way. And there's going to be a foul on Markley trying to steal that one. was not on Markley, thought it was. It was on Vanderweel. It was on Vanderweel. It's our second, team six, next one. South Bend Career Academy will be in the bonus. Here's Howell, puts that one up, no good. And it's gonna be Argus Ball. It looked like it went off of Vanderweel's hand though, but I mean, I'll let them make the calls. Here's Dunlap to Bullenbacher. It's Markley in the corner now. Markley, baseline jumper. That one's good. Markley gets on the score sheet. Everyone's getting on the score sheet tonight, it looks like. All the points are pretty well sprinkled around at this point. That one's no good. The Blazers just can't get anything to go this quarter. I don't. They haven't scored yet this quarter, have they? They have not. Inside for Hardo. She'll take a dribble. It's stolen. Howell goes down. She's going to stay down. Yeah, you never want to see that. So fortunately, Kayla Howell gets up on her own, makes her way to the bench, and we'll have the South Bend Career Academy underneath the basket with the ball. This one inbounded to Saunders, but Markley gets in the way and tips it out. 
Once again, our ball retriever, Coach Gordon Mawson down there, giving the ball to the refs. Doing a really good job down there. Doing a great job tonight. That one's shot, no good. And Bullenbacher comes away with the rebound. And there's 15 seconds left in the first half. Vanderweel. Godsey trying to get it out of her hands. Dunlap now, she'll drive baseline. No shot there, it's tipped. They'll need to get a shot and they won't get a shot off. So the halftime score, we have the Argus Dragons, 31, and the South Bend Career Academy Trailblazers, seven. As the Dragons are enjoying this lead, this big lead they have. And score check. Unofficial stats here for both teams at the half. Take it away. Redinger with five. Shepard with two and two fouls. Stoltz with two and two fouls. Dunlap with six. Vanderweel with six and two fouls. Miller has four. Bolenbacher with a foul and two points. Edmonds with a foul and two points. And I think Edmonds has about, uh, what, 37 blocks tonight? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Godsey for South Bend Career Academy. Two fouls. Haley Saunders with two. Gabby Terrell with a foul. Angel Morrow with two points. Kayla Howell with three points. And Ariana Huggins with two fouls. All right, and those are our unofficial stats of the first half. I want to say official, but we'll go verify them. We're, we're just trying to get through here, so I can't really say official, huh? All right, and we're going to send some ads your way now here at the half, and we'll be back to talk to you again in the third quarter. And we are back here with the second half of the Argus Dragons hosting the South Bank Career Academy Trailblazers as they have a big lead starting the second half. It's 31 to seven. They have the advantage at home. And we're gonna get started. Bullenbacher to inbound to Dunlap. Bullenbacher, penetration, but uh, it's a jump ball. There's number 71 of those. <laughs> and the Trailblazers are gonna have it. Saunders now the right side. And now it's Terrell the top of the key. Inside to Saunders, she'll look for a shot but can't get one up. And Looks like there's gonna be a foul on the floor. Held on the arm by Bullenbacher. It's her first foul of the half. Team's first. Howell back in the game. It's good to see. She saves that one, but it's right to Shepard. She'll have a fast break. Gets around Godsey. That one and off the it. mark. Bullenbacher tries to get a hand on that one, but can't. Saunders just loses it. It's going to be Dragon's ball the other way. So, Dylan, if you're the Career Academy coming out in the second half, what are you looking to do here? I'm just looking to be a little more cautious with the ball. You want to get your head up, see everything on the floor. That's what Drew Mawson tells me to do in practice. Both, both Mawsons, actually, they tell me to do. Because when I'm in the middle, they want me to face the basket, see the floor, see everything that's going on around you, and then don't force a bad pass. Right. And that's what I think they need to do right now because they're, all the turnovers they've thrown already – they're not really being very cautious with the ball. They need to start looking around more and just trying to move the ball without forcing it, forcing bad passes. Howell with the Euro step. But it was a travel. So if you're Argus, what are you doing coming out of the locker room? Not really necessarily trying to score, but you still want to get points on the board. You just want to play solid defense still, don't want to give up this lead you have. I get it. It's enough of a cushion. You can relax a little bit, but not too much because you still ultimately want the win. Yep. Ah! 
And stolen by Dunlap. She'll have a fast break. Godsey in front of her. There's a foul. And the shot got it to go. Gets it to go. But it looks like they're going to stay aggressive trying to take the ball away. And Godsey with her third foul. And in comes Alvarez for Godsey. Dunlap to the line. Short on the free throw, and here comes Howell the other way. Stolen by Vanderweel. Up to Dunlap, forward pass. Kind of lost it, left, left hand no good. And that one's going to be out right on Terrell. Terrell. Dragons will have it under their basket. Cross court to Dunlap, drives to the middle, finds Shepard. Bolenbacher now, inside Edmonds, takes a dribble, can't find a shot, puts one up off the left iron. And here comes Saunders the other way, full steam ahead. No foul there, I think she was looking for, I think she was looking for that, trying to draw contact. Here's Vanderweel inside, that one's good. Now a 30 point lead for the Dragons. Stolen, no, not quite. Now it's not stolen still. <laughs> and here comes Howell the other way. She'll try to go through the legs, but loses it. And Looks finds like Terrell. And it's going to be 10 second violation. And now in comes Ariana Huggins coming in for Kayla Howell. Ball screen, tried to find the slip there, but couldn't. Edmonds steals it. Goes through Huggins, that one's off the glass, no good. Bollenbacher's gonna come away with it. She'll have a shot, but that's no good either. And the Treble H's are gonna call a full timeout as the Dragons lead 37 to seven. Held scoreless in that second quarter. Just still with trouble turning the ball over. Haven't, they're trying to get points on the board, but they're just moving too fast, I feel. They just need to slow down, set up the offense, and because they're trying they're really trying to move too fast and it's not working. So And Argus, pretty festive place right now, you know, December hits. And everyone turns to the Christmas music. I would say it's pretty split 50-50 on Christmas music anyway. Like, everyone, normal people at least in my opinion, they wait till November's over and then they let it play without care. But once, I'm sorry, but once I hear it in November, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Certain ones, like, you know, the great greatest Christmas song of all time, the Hawaiian legend, Melikalinki Maka. I'll listen to that one in November, but <laughs> other ones not so much. Yeah. You're not you're not one for November either, huh? Not till at least after Thanksgiving. A lot of stores will have their stuff out in what feels like two days after I Fourth feel of like July. But yeah, I feel because you see trees and stuff getting set up in October already, right after Halloween. Well, I guess that's November too. Because, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about that now. <laughs> Huggins keeps it alive, and here's Terrell inside. Alvarez looks for the baseline. It's Saunders, but she throws it away, off of Bolenbacher's leg, and Vanderbilt comes away with it, going down that left sideline. And the transition is stopped. Person looking to shoot there. Shepard to Dunlap, drives to the middle, finds Edmonds. And there's gonna be a block on Alvarez, it looks like. Yeah, 
Alvarez's first foul of the night. And I believe it's the team's second at the half. That is correct. Here's Edmonds, rolls to the middle, fadeaway jumper, no good. Off the mark. Huggins with the rebound, kicks out to Terrell. Inside Saunders, she'll have it, and it's good. First points of the second half for the Trail Blazers, and they now trail 37 to 9. Here's Shepard for three in the corner. That one gets nothing on it. Bollenbacher, that one's blocked. Edmonds now, that one's no good off the left side. And now Morrow brings it in. She'll have a shot, no good. Saunders inside, it's blocked. Now here comes Vanderweel. Here's Dunlap, shot fake, drive. That one's no good. Edmonds gets it back off the offensive glass, puts it in. And I believe we're gonna have a timeout. It's gonna be an Argus 30 second timeout. And as you see there, actually on the right side of the screen, you can see him, our lovely boy men's basketball coaching staff. A shout out to Drew and Gordon Mawson. Have we given a shout out to Drew tonight? I don't think we have. I think that's the first one. Although it looks like Gordon moved, so he can't retrieve the balls anymore yeah. down on the sideline. I mean, he was really reliable down there too. He got what, three of them? Yeah. Did a great job. I'll have to send uh, Mr. Stone up there. <laughs> Sitting down on the baseline. Sets up in his chair on the baseline. Here's Alvarez inside Morrow. That one's blocked by Vanderweel. And here comes Miller the other way. Here's Shepard surveying the floor. Drives to the middle, finds Redinger. Here's Miller. That one's a two. Stepped over the line but got to go. Miller with six on the night. Here's Morrow. That one's off the glass. No good, though. And it's going to go off the hand of Saunders. And now it's substitution. It's going to be Godsey and Howell coming in for Alvarez and Morrow. Looks like the Trailblazers are going to set up in a 2-3 zone. Here's Shepard looking around. Kicks to Redinger. Inside for Staltz. Kicks back out. And looks another like trailblazer on the floor. Looks like Huggins is down. Tweaked her ankle, looks like. And Huggins walks off the floor, which is a good sign. Always a good sign. And they played some more Christmas music, of course, in that short break we had. And now here's the Dragons out of the sideline. Stoltz trying to free herself in the middle. Here's Redinger to, to Miller. Trying to find Staltz. She just can't get open in there with Howell guarding her. And here comes Godsey the other way. And that one's blocked. Blocked by Vanderweel. Good transition defense there. 
Here's Morrow to inbound. Here's Howell's shot. That one's no good. Can't hold on to it. Here's Morrow again. Morrow, no good. Terrell keeps it alive. Here's Morrow again. That one's no good off the glass. And here comes Vanderwill the other way on the fast break. Terrell trying to run her down. That one's no good. I don't know if that was a pass or supposed to be a shot or what there, but she'll step up. Here's Redinger looking for a shot. Wasn't there, though. Insider Staltz kicked back out to Vanderbilt. There's a drive. Staltz in the middle. And there's a foul inside. And it's going to be on Howell. It's going to be her first. Team's third? Uh, I think so. Staltz top of the key. And gets it to Vanderbilt to set everything up again. Staltz inside, fakes to the middle. That one's good. She's got four on the night. Oh. Here's Godsey, the baseline jumper. Gets nothing on it. And Miller trying to break out of the trap. Passes out of it to Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt no good. Both teams trying to stick to this 2-3 zone. Vanderbilt saves it. Gets around Morrow. Eight seconds on the clock for the quarter. And, and Renninger was standing out of bounds. Um, that I was a pass. Okay. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, it's a little early for that shot, and I don't think she was looking for that pass. Is it either that or she was looking for it and it she thought it was going to hit the – I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. But didn't really cost anything. As th oh, there's a three at the buzzer. Hey. Okay. Kayla Howell with the three. There's a three at the buzzer. And the Dragons at the end of three. They lead 43 to 12 with a 31-point cushion. Do you think they're going to do that for boys' games, too? Christmas music? Yeah. I don't know how I'd feel about that. Well, well, I guess I don't really have a say games, anyway. So the next couple games really are on care. the road, so. Oh, that's true. That's true. Tomorrow in South Bend Career Academy and Saturday at Pioneer. I have to think. Uh, they could. They I very well could. I have to well think could. one of the two gyms, one of the two host sites would. You never we're, know, though. We're, we're only a week out. It's true. It's it was today and tomorrow were finals, and then next week we're off. So it looks like the Dragons are going to start with the ball. As they lead by 31. Now Miller to inbound to Redinger. Fajardo in the middle now instead of Staltz. Staltz moved to the wing. Trying to post up. Staltz top of the key. Swings to Miller. Here's Staltz. Alvarez, quick coverage. And now Miller, deep three. No good. And it's going to be out of bounds on Fajardo. And the Blazers are going to get the ball. And so here's Howell. She'll drive to the left side. That one's no good. And now here comes Redinger. Fast break. Left hand, that one's no good. Staltz back up with it, and that one's good off the offensive rebound.
Andy Stone giving us a little laugh up here. What was he saying to you just now? He didn't have to say anything. He was just laughing. That's 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 scary enough. <laughs> indeed, indeed. And now here comes Huggins back into the game for Terrell. Dragon's still guarding high. And that one's going to be a foul on Staltz on Howell's shot. Oh, no. What? And now Howell will go to the line for two. That one's short. She'll get another one, though. She made her first free throw in the first quarter. Gets the second one to go. So now they only, they trail by 32. Quick math. Staltz inside, no good. She'll get it back, puts it up, no good again. Fajardo tries to save it, but foot was on the line. And the Trailblazers will go the other way. Trailblazers not giving up. Still playing hard, still going after the loose balls. Alvarez for three, that one's no good. Here comes Staltz the other way now, Godsey. Godsey right on her. And now here's Redinger, puts it up with the left hand, no good. Another shot and there's a foul inside. That one I think was all right, that, that one was on Howell. That is her second, team's fourth. That one's off the mark by Redinger. Yep, so and far, so far Morrow Argus. is gonna come in for Saunders. So far tonight, Argus has not made a free throw. And Markley's gonna come in for Miller. You said they haven't made a free they throw yet? They have not made a free throw yet. Haven't been to the line much though. That's, gets the first one to go. Howell, she'll have a shot. No good though. Here's Huggins. Huggins on the rebound. Tries to find Morrow inside and looks like there's the 94th jump ball. That's the first the one night. First one we've had. Uh, it's no, been a we, while. We no, had, it's been a while. I know it's been a while, but there was a lot of them in that first half. That first half there were a bunch, yes. We haven't seen one since the beginning of the third quarter, I think. Yeah, it's that's been a while. It's been a minute, but th there's been a lot of them. So the Trailblazers will have it. That one's tipped, stolen by Staltz. Pass overthrown to Markley. She'll keep it though, good effort to keep it. Here's Redinger, shot no good. And here comes Howell the other way. Fajardo tries to steal it and tips it enough for a stolen ball again. Here's Redinger to Staltz. That one's no good. Looks like and it was it's tipped, gonna by be Huggins. tipped out. Tipped by Huggins underneath and then tipped out by Argus. Good defensive play to stop that fast break score. Now Godsey will take it down the floor. Here's Moro. Huggins to Moro, trying to find Howell inside. More of the shot, that's no good. Rebound for Hardo. And there's gonna be a foul on Howell. It's her third. Team Smith. According to my unofficial official stat sheet. It was official at the half. After you said it, but it was it was technically official. Fajardo up with it, that one's no good. So right now, Kayla Howell, the only Saunders, one in foul trouble. Saunders travel. 
trying to turn, and there's a defender right in her way. And Godsey's going to come out of the game. Inside Fajardo, and there's another travel. And now here comes Terrell. Here's Morrow. Dribbles and a spot up three. That one's no good. Those rebounds are often more difficult than you think, though, because they just come off the backboard. Like, they just come off that backboard really hard, and you don't expect it. Here's Markley. Swing to Stultz. Redinger in the corner. She'll drive to the middle, have a shot. That one, no good. Fajardo gets it back. She'll dribble it out to Markley. Cross court, Ellis. Here's a shot. That one's no good either. Redinger, the offensive rebound. And Morrow brings it in, but it's stripped by Stultz, and there's going to be a jump ball. So group substitution. All five are coming out and starters come in. Good bench play tonight though from the Dragons. Quality bench minutes. Cross court Dunlap. Gives it to Bullenbacher, top of the key. Here's Vanderweel. And back to Dunlap to set something up. Stolen by Morrow. Loses it and gets it back. Loses it again, goes out of bounds. And now with 340 left in the game, Dragons up by 33. Not much scoring this half, but that's okay, they're just trying to keep that lead. And they've done a good job of keeping it. Inside Edmonds, goes around off the glass, no good, no good. Now here's Terrell. There's gonna be a timeout full for the Career Academy. And that is their second full timeout. They've got a full and a 30 left. Give a shout out to Steve Stricker. Steve Stricker, what do you say? He is gonna try and get us to play some Christmas carols at that Pioneer game on Saturday. Christmas carols? Yeah, Christmas music. Oh, he's gonna try to get it to play in the gym. Yep. Okay, just for us? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Quick shout out, Drew Mawson, assistant coach, Argus Boys basketball team. That's our first one, correct? I think. Yeah, 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 I don't think we've I don't had think one tonight. Yeah. And now here's the Trailblazers. So they look to get something on the board. This one's Huggins now to Alvarez. That one's stolen by Dunlap. She'll slow it down though, just trying to drain some clock. Here's Shepard for three, no good. Vanderbilt inside, can't get that one to go. Stolen by Vanderbilt again. Looking for a foul inside, didn't get one. And now the Blazers go the other way. More of the shot, that's no good. Rebound to Edmonds.
Shepard to Bollenbacher. Baseline jumper, no good. She'll get it back, though, in the middle. That's good off the glass. And the Career Academy is going to call another timeout. Morrow looks like she got hit with someone's elbow. Must have tweaked something. I thought she got hit in the middle and then just got the wind knocked out of her or something. I didn't know she tweaked something. All right. It happens. Yeah. Inside Saunders trying to get around Bullenbacher. That one's tipped by Shepard and stolen by Shepard. Tries to pass it up. Tipped. Godsey travels as she stole it, but she fell. Like I said before, Dylan, Career Academy still hustling, still yeah. playing hard. We're still fighting out here. Edmonds, that one's good. Now here comes Howell. There's Huggins. Edmonds guarding. Pass to Godsey. That one's kicked. Off of Dunlap. Now it's going to be Career Academy ball on the baseline. Back to Howell. Baseline drive. Puts it up. No good. But they'll get it back. Howell the jumper. That one's no good. And the Dragons will get the ball back. A minute 18 left. Edmonds finds Vanderweel. That one, no good, rolls out. Edmonds gets it back, though. Stolen by Howell. And it and goes off of Vanderweel's foot, it looks like. Howell tried the behind the tried, back yeah, pass. Yeah, tried going behind her back. And, and it went right off Vanderweel's leg. So here's Howell with 55 seconds left in the game. Shots up. That one doesn't get anything. And here's Shepard the other way. Finds Edmonds in the middle. And she's fouled from behind. Now one's on Howell. That's her fourth. Not very many fouls tonight. I don't think we didn't. Don't think we got the bonus in the last half, did we? We did not. And they're just approaching it now with 39.6 left. Only with six fouls. Edmonds misses the first free throw. Very, very much a contrast from the Culver Girls yeah. Academy game. Both teams were in double bonus. A minute into the second, fourth yeah. quarters. So, a lot less fouls tonight. Yeah. Here's Howell's shot. That one's no good. Huggins the board. Blocked by Edmonds. It's been moved to get around Godsey. Edmonds up with it. That one's good. Dragons now up by 39. This one was never really in doubt for him. Got off to a quick start. And as we approach the end, here's Alvarez for three. That one's no good. Bullenbacher brings it in. And now 
Dragons are 1-0 in the conference. As they get a 39-point win. Like I said before, this one never really in doubt. Turnovers killed South Bend tonight. And that, that was really the main story of it. Just turned the ball over a lot, and Argus made him pay for it. And so as soon as we get our numbers added up up here, we're going to have our unofficial end of the game stats with Sir Joe Kindig here. Not quite Sir, hasn't been knighted yet. Living for that one day, though. And I'd like to give a thank you to Jacob Stone, who did our camera tonight. Did really well. Kept up with the game, I thought, pretty well. Looking back at the screen, camera was still moving. It's always a good sign, making sure he's not sleeping over there. Right, Jacob? Right. Right? Yeah. You, you agree. Perfect. All right. All right, and now we go to our unofficial end of the game stats. Unofficial official stats. Redinger tonight with six points. Shepard with two points, two fouls. Stoltz with six points. Dunlap with eight points. Vanderweel with 10, also had two fouls. Miller with six. Bollenbacher with four, two fouls. And Edmonds with eight and a foul. For the South Bend Career Academy, Haley Saunders had two points. Angel Morrow had two points. I apologize, Haley Saunders had four points. Kayla Howell had seven and four fouls for the South Bend Career Academy. So we talked about turnovers. To my tally, Argus had eight. Um, South Bend Career Academy had 23. Wow. So that's that's, that's a little bit of a difference. That's that is that's that enough is to tell a game though. That can hurt you. Yeah. So the good news is. Mr. Jennings gets the first win. The Argus girls in the Hoosier Plains Conference. And the Dragons advance to two and seven on the season as they get their second straight win. You know, like Lou Brown said. I believe it was Lou Brown, wasn't it? It was the great Lou Brown, yeah. The great Lou Brown said, we won yesterday, that's one game. We won today. That's two, and if we win tomorrow, that's three. That's called a winning streak. So the Dragons look to win that next game to start that streak as they win their two now, their two second straight now. And here from Phil Waybright Gymnasium, we thank you for tuning in to tonight's broadcast. And until next time, I am Dylan Kindig, and this is Joe Kindig, and we thank you for tuning in. Have a great night, everybody. <laughs>